All right, so we're going to start with why we even need recommendation systems in the first place. All right, so um, I mean, people can go to Amazon and buy anything that they want. So why do they still want to do recommendations? Why do they want to still build, spend so much money building recommendation systems? Right? Or people can go to Netflix, choose the movie that they want and watch. But why do they still want to spend a lot of money in building recommendation systems? Okay, so let's get to understand it. Now the first reason is to increase revenue. Okay, the first reason for companies jumping on um, recommendation systems is to increase their revenue. I mean, there's there's no motive behind that, right? If someone tells you something different, they're lying. The major reason here is to increase the, their revenue. Okay, because if, for instance, I mean, if you have a shop where you sell, um, if you if you have a shop where you sell bread, okay, you have this is your shop. This is your shop. You sell bread over here. Okay. You sell bread over here and then you sell bread for say um twenty dollars all right you sell the bread for twenty dollars and then out of this twenty dollars let's say your profit is um your your profit is say um five dollars okay now if let's say you add butter to this shop okay let's say you know that people much people um buy bread and also buy butter now this butter is um let's say this is ten dollars over there okay it's ten dollars so let's say out of this ten dollars to your profit is say um five dollars okay let's say your profit is say five dollars right now how many dollars do you have over here right now you have ten dollars okay you have ten dollars but earlier on your your profit was just five dollars right without the butter without the butter your profit was just um five dollars right now it's likely that in your shop most people buy bread okay most people buy bread However, you have also seen couple of people who buy bread plus, okay, who buy bread plus butter, okay, they buy bread plus butter. Now, once you have discovered that in your shop, you can put them um, side by side, okay, so if you put bread over there, right, you want to put butter um, right behind that, okay, you want to put butter right behind that. So once they buy bread, right, their eyes also go to the butter. Okay, the ice also goes goes to the butter. It's and it's likely that they are going to buy both of them. Okay, it's likely that they are going to buy both of them instead of buying one of them, right? And that happens when your shop is very small, right? When your shop is very small, right? But if you have a big shop where you have about millions of, I mean, products over there, it's difficult to actually fish out which items are my customers buying, and in addition to other items, right? What what, com what combination of items do my customers buy the most? It's going to be very very difficult for you to figure those things out if you have a very big shop. Okay, if you have a very big shop. I'm talking about digital shop in this regard. Okay, I'm talking about digital shop like say Amazon, right? Like Amazon. Amazon.com or Amazon.in or Amazon.ca or whatever it is. Okay, if you have a digital shop like that, then it's going to be very difficult for you to figure out these things. Okay, that's why you need some sort of an automated system that will do these things for you, right? It will automate, it will automate the process and then uh, automatically match these kind of things, right? To just be behind your platform, seeing what people are buying and then continuously matching them. Okay, so if customer A, right, if customer A comes and then buy bread and buy butter, then if customer B comes, right, this automated system will now recommend these two to this customer that, okay, customer A bought these combinations, it's likely you will like it, and this one to can buy both of them, okay. Now, in doing so, your profit is continuously going to increase. Okay, your profit is going to continuously increase. Now, it seems like they are helping the customers, but ideally, they are increasing their profit. Okay, that's the number one thing that they are trying to do to increase their revenue. Okay, and of course, um, they need to satisfy the customer before their revenue can increase. So, as I gave an example here, right, they are helping this customer to find the best product for the, for himself or herself, right? That is adding bread, adding butter to the bread that he wants to buy. Okay, but ideally they are doing that so that the customer will buy more items and by buying more items they get to increase their profit. Okay, so the customer gets um, satisfaction, right, and then they get their revenue increase. Okay, the next one is personalization. Personalization. Okay, so for instance, um, customer A, right, customer A here might have preferences different from customer B here. Okay. So if let's say this customer B comes and then instead of buying bread and butter, this customer B buys bread and jam. Okay, bread and jam. 
Okay, so now if um, this customer B comes back again to the that is in day one, okay, in day one, that's what customer B did, right? So if this customer B comes again to the platform and buys bread, automatically this one will recommend jam instead of recommending a butter, okay? That is personalization. But if customer A comes, sorry, this system will recommend um, butter instead of um, I mean jam, okay? If this customer A comes to buy bread again, um, the system will recommend butter instead of jam instead of jam okay so that is personalization right looking at the individual preferences and recommending things that they um, personally like okay now the next one is um discovery right discovery um as i said if your shop is very big it's actually going to be difficult for you the shop owner to match things like that and also for the people to discover the things that you you have over there right if you have experience i mean I'm sure if you, if you have been doing online um, shopping, you will realize that sometimes it becomes very, very difficult, right? If you're looking for that particular shoe, okay, if you're looking for some shoe that will fit you well or some kind of a dress, right, is you can spend a whole lot of time um, going through Amazon or going through eBay or any other platform, right, trying to find the best sh um, dress or the best shoe or suit or something for you, right? It's very difficult. You can spend a day or two just i mean going through these things right now with the recommendations right with the recommendation systems they can make these things easier for you right by just helping you discover things that the platform is having right so if for instance you want shoes and you type in the keyword shoes right they're gonna come up with the best shoes that most people are buying on the platform for you right and even give you some suggestions right and then say that okay you may also like these things right you may you see mostly you see these things this statement over there you may also right you may also like Right, something like that, and you see list of other products over there. You will be seeing list of other products over there. So instead of you going through the platform and find all the products like what you are looking for, right? Then, I mean, this is kind of suggestions will help you discover the other products over there easily. Okay, so that is another thing. The last one over here is report and analytics. All right, so now if the customer, if the platform owner, right, the shop owner or the platform owner wants to know what is going on in the platform right is the activities that the um the customers are performing right that on the platform that is that will give the company insight and then for them to know what to do right for instance if most people buy bread and butter they know that we are in our shop we are supposed to put more bread and butter over there that's kind of an insight or an analysis that they are having okay if most people are buying some kind of a product, you need to know how to keep your inventory of that product so, so that you're not run short of that product that is giving you more profit, okay? Which, where where is our most profit coming from? You need to know that so that that product will be um, your top-notch product on your platform, okay? And how to even place these items on your platform are all going to come from the reports and analytics that you're going to get from um, these kind of recommendations that is on the platform. All right, so these are some of the reasons why we need um, recommendation systems in our, in, our, in our system, right, in our platforms and in our companies. Okay. All right, so I hope um, now you have an understanding of why we need uh, recommendation systems and why so many companies are jumping on recommendation systems. So you will not see um, recommendation systems on, I mean, say, Netflix, and you think they are trying to make your work um, easy. Of course, they are making your work easier, but the ultimate goal is to increase their profit. Okay, for you to spend much time on Netflix watching a lot of movies, so that next time, I mean, next month you keep you keep on watching, right? Especially for those who like um, series movies, right? They try as much as possible to recommend you the best series because they know once you watch one series movies, it's gonna take you about two three months, and each month you're going to subscribe, right, and increase their profit over there, all right, for them. Although you're watching your movie, having your own satisfaction in your own way, but you're increasing their profit, okay? So that is how it works. And in the same way, on Amazon, they have a lot of recommendation systems they want to use to increase their profit over there, right? 